Hey everybody, welcome to my video. We are going to solve this Rubik's Cube. And before I get started, I want to talk about the different sides of the cube. This is the right side of the cube. This is the left side. This is the front side of the cube. This is the back side. This is the top or up side of the cube and this is the bottom or down side of the cube. Okay, and notice how when I moved any side of the cube this white centerpiece never moved. It didn't matter which side that we that we moved, this centerpiece always stayed in the same position. So because this white centerpiece never moves, that means that this entire side has to be white. Okay, so that is a really important concept that you need to remember uh, while solving the cube. So that's my brief introduction, and having said that, I think we are ready to get started. So let's scramble this thing up. Okay, so now we're ready to solve our first side of the cube. And the first thing we need to do is pick which color that we want to solve. It doesn't matter, you can pick any one you want. Uh, white seems to be a popular choice, so I'm going to pick the white side as my first side of the cube that I'm going to solve. So we see here that this centerpiece is white, uh, so that means that this entire side of the cube also has to be white. So this is going to be the first side of the cube which I solve. Okay, and what I'm going to do first is get the edge pieces. Okay, these edge pieces form this cross. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the white edge pieces. And what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to place all the white edge pieces on the opposite side of white. Okay, so let's see what the opposite side of white is. Okay, for my cube, the opposite side of white is yellow because this center piece is yellow, so this side, that means, has to be yellow. So I'm going to place all of my white edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube. Okay, so let's look for some white edge pieces. All right, I found one already. Here we have a white edge piece on my thumb. Okay, so I'm going to bring this white edge piece to the yellow side of the cube. I'm just going to rotate it up as easy as that. Okay, so we've done it for one white edge piece. Now we need to do the same exact thing for the remaining three white edge pieces. So let's keep on looking. Okay, here we have another white edge piece. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this to the yellow side of the cube, just like before. So I'm just going to rotate this up to the yellow side of the cube, and now we have two white edge pieces that are on the yellow side of the cube, and now we need to do it for the remaining two white edge pieces. Okay, and here we have another one. Okay, so we need to bring this white edge piece to the yellow side of the cube. And notice how I can't just bring it directly straight up like I did before, because when I do that, I move this white edge piece that I've already put in the correct position. Okay, so I want to keep the edge pieces that I've already put on this yellow side. I don't want to lose them. Okay, so I, I want to make sure that when I, when I move this white edge piece to the yellow side, that I don't lose the two that I have already. Okay, so in order to prevent this, okay, I'm going to rotate the top Okay, and now when I bring this white edge piece to the yellow side of the cube, I don't lose the two white edge pieces that I've already placed there before. Okay, um, so now uh, we need to find the remaining one white edge piece. So let's keep on looking around the cube. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we have the last white edge piece. Okay, notice how it's not on the middle layer. Notice how it is on the top layer. Okay, um, if it's on the top layer of the cube, it's quite simple to bring it to this middle layer. So the only thing you have to do is just twist this front side, and now the edge piece is on the middle layer instead of the top layer. Okay, and once again, we need to bring the white edge piece to the yellow side of the cube. Um, notice how I can't just bring it directly up to the yellow side. 
because then I lose this white edge piece, which I already correctly positioned. So in order to bring this piece to the yellow side, I need to rotate the top so I don't lose the three white pieces that I already correctly positioned. Okay, now I can bring this white piece up to the yellow side, and I didn't lose the three that are already correctly placed. Okay, so now we have placed all of the white edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube. And once we do that, uh, we need to bring the edge pieces to the white side of the cube, bring them to their correct side. Um, so, in order to do this, you need to align the other color of the edge piece. Notice how this one is white and green. Okay, We need to match the green color with the green center piece. Okay? Notice now how this green color is matched with this green center piece. And once you match it, you can rotate the face 180 degrees, and now notice how we have the white matching the white, and the green is matching the green. Okay, so we need to do that with every single white piece. Okay? Um, first I'll do it with, or second I should say, I will do it with uh, this white and orange piece. Um, this one's actually already matched. The orange is matched with the orange. So the only thing that we have to do is just rotate it 180 degrees. And now the white is matched with the white, and the orange is matched with the orange, and we still have our white matched with the white, and the green matched with the green. Okay, um, so let's do that for our third white edge piece. Here this one is white and red, so I need to match the red side with the red center. Okay, now that we've matched this red side with the red center, we can rotate it 180 degrees. And now the white is matching the white, and the red is matching the red, and we still haven't changed the two other pieces which we put there before. Alright, so let's do it for our last and final edge piece. This one is white and blue. Okay, so let's match the blue with the blue side of the cube. Okay, now that the blue is matched with the blue center, now we can rotate it 180 degrees. And now the white is matching with the white, and the blue is matching with the blue. All four of the white edge pieces are correctly positioned on the cube. Okay? So once you get the four edge pieces correctly positioned on the cube, now we got to work on the corners of the cube. So in my next video, I'm going to teach you how to correctly position all the white corners of the cube.